Maureen Schrader lay on the operating table at St. Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston, New Jersey. Four mechanical arms moved with precision over her abdomen. In one arm was a high-definition camera. The other three contained small surgical instruments that made a five-centimeter incision just below her rib cage. It was a tiny opening, but it was big enough to put a new kidney into Maureen's body. At no point during the surgery did the surgeon actually touch Maureen. In fact, he sat several feet away, peering into a monitor and holding what looked like video game controls. But the work of his hands was digitally recorded and sent to the robotic arms, which mimicked his every movement. The robot became an extension of the surgeon, and together they transplanted the kidney. Robots in the operating room are now a reality, and the next operation you or a family member undergoes may very well involve a robot. But surgery is just one of the areas in which medical robots are changing modern medicine. As a pre-med student interested in becoming a surgeon, I've long been fascinated with medical robots. After researching the topic for this speech, I'd like to introduce you to the world of medical robots. We'll take a look at three kinds of robots in particular. Orderly robots, remote presence robots, and surgical robots. Let's begin with orderly. Orderly robots help hospital staff accomplish routine tasks. Their primary function is to transport medicine, food, and lab supplies, and to do so without a human by their side. Here is one of the most popular orderly robots, the TUG, Tug Robot, which, according to its manufacturer, can be found in more than 100 hospitals in the United States alone. A September 2010 story in Discovery News explains how the robot works. Relying on a digital map of the hospital, the robot moves from room to room, picking up and dropping off supplies. It senses people and obstacles by what are called light whiskers. Invisible beams of sonar, infrared, and laser. These light whiskers are represented by the colored lines you see in this drawing. They constantly scan the environment to avoid collisions. Tug robots can also communicate with one another about the most efficient route to a location given current hallway conditions. They are highly efficient and make fewer delivery errors than people. Mark Weigel, Director of Food Services at Bethesda Memorial Hospital in Maryland, notes that the tug robot never argues with patients, takes no breaks, is always polite, and always on time. But orderly robots are not the only robots transforming modern medicine. Remote presence robots allow a doctor to visit with a patient even when the doctor is not in the same room. Remote presence means that the doctor can be present with the patient even when the doctor is in a remote location. Imagine, you're sitting in a hospital room and in comes this, the RP7. A 2009 story in U.S. News & World Report explains that physicians can pilot these robots from a laptop located anywhere in the hospital or in the world. A screen, camera, microphone, and speaker system, like the ones you see in this photograph, allow the doctor to interview the patient. Hospital staff can even attach medical devices, such as electronic stethoscopes, to the robot so the doctor can review a patient's vital signs. According to a 2010 article in Hospital Management, the RP7 is used in more than 250 U.S. hospitals and has performed more than 100,000 clinic sessions. They are particularly useful in hospitals with a high patient-to-doctor ratio. In addition to orderly robots and remote presence robots, a third kind of robot is transforming modern medicine. Surgical robots, like the kind I mentioned at the start of my speech, are increasingly being used in operating rooms around the world. Most popular is the one you see here, the Da Vinci. According to a 2010 article in the Miami Herald, there are more than 1,400 Da Vinci robots in hospitals worldwide, and they're used in more than 200,000 operations every year. How does Da Vinci work? 
Intuitive Surgical, maker of DaVinci, explains that the surgeon controls a robot from a remote terminal. You can see the terminal in this photograph. Usually the terminal is a few feet away, as in the photograph, but it can be as far as thousands of miles away. So a surgeon in San Francisco can operate on a patient in Miami. The surgeon controls the robot's arms utilizing an interactive 3D imaging system. But make no mistake, even though the robot is touching the patient, the surgeon is always in control. Doctors love da Vinci because it dramatically improves the quality of surgical procedures. Dr. Jeffrey Wolf, a head and neck surgeon at the University of Maryland Medical Center, states that da Vinci gives us unprecedented access with really good 3D visualization. We are now able to perform intricate surgeries in a very small space with great dexterity. Da Vinci also reduces the risk of post-surgery complications, allows for faster healing, and helps patients leave the hospital sooner. In conclusion, we've seen that medical robots are playing an increasingly important role in modern medicine. Whether it's running errands for hospital employees, helping physicians connect with their patients, or acting as a surgeon's eyes and hands. Medical robots have brought the future into the present. So the next time you find yourself at the hospital, keep your eyes peeled for the kind of technological marvels that used to only exist in science fiction. Medical robots are now a matter of science fact.